Greetings and welcome back to Factorio. I'm Catherine of Sky and we are in our brand new little train here that is going to get uh, the fuel stuff made for our nuclear reactors. Now there are a couple of things I want to do before then. Um, as we see, oh, here is our wall station in action. You can see it's red, meaning that it is stopped. You can see the little blinking red lights here, meaning that station is not requesting the train to come over. Now, I do want to add a radar over here. I think we should have some in stock. Yep, there we go. And uh, we'll actually get vision over this area finally. There we go. And we can see uh, that we are still needing fuel, obviously. Um, the other thing was I did want to check on modules. So we have, oh, we have 40 of them. That is very exciting. Wow. Okay. So I want to grab those modules. Let's see if we can just request them while we're out here in the world. Let's see. Uh, request all the modules. There we go. And I'm going to make the station. Now, remember that we need two items in this train. Uh, last time we started to make the nuclear station and we need some of the uh, iron plates and we need more fuel and this is going to be kind of our fueling train as well so this can kind of go around to different stations around the uh, the base and do stuff okay so let's see how do we want to do this this is going to be interesting uh, all right so let's start with this and grab this piece there I think that's probably enough, maybe. Yeah. Yep. Probably there is okay. Let's just shift click that. And we can remove this and hopefully we can get this in some form of alignment here. No, we cannot. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's control Z and, re and uh, remove it. If we can get this this way then we might have a, a chance here. Okay, that's where we want to put it, I think. So let's just copy the relevant bits, the signal and such like this. And I think, oh, oh no, this will work though. And we can move this piece and change that signal. Make sure it's on this track instead of the old straight track. Okay, good. Okay, so this, we're going to change the name of this immediately. And this is going to be, hmm, we're going to do, I think we're going to call this um, solid fuel um, distribution. Yeah, I think that's probably what we want to do. And then we can do the little uh, thingy majingy here. There we go. Item equals, where's the equal sign? There it is equals solid fuel. Hello? No, no, wrong thing, imaging. Sorry. There we go. Hooray. I think we have this at 50, 50 and 50. There we go. Very nice. Okay. This is going well. Let's take off that very, very old power pole and just add this one here instead. All right. I think I'm gonna copy this section. Whoa, where's this thing going? This must be a really old pipe. Let's grab this, put that there, sure. And connect that up there. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, life is now better. Oh, this is so good. I am so excited. Like nuclear power is the bomb. I mean, well, almost a bomb. <laughs> we don't have the bombs yet, but anyway, <laughs> it's a thing. Um, all right. So first car is locomotive. Second, oh, actually, we don't need this one. We only have one car attached here. We're going to load this with two different materials. We're going to have our solid fuel and our iron coming in. I guess we should have a chest for each. So let's see. Chest is going to hold, what do we have? Like four stacks of iron in there. Let's just make five. That's fine. And then solid fuel is going to be two rows of solid fuel. Um, Hmm. Maybe we should have two, two solid fuel, uh, little guys here. Thingies. Yeah. Okay. There we go. That should be fine. Okay. And one for there. And this one is going to be the solid fuel. I don't think we need 
um, many belts for this. Okay, there we go. I don't think we need red belts for this, is what I meant to say. Uh, okay. Uh, woo. Woo! No! We may have to have our robots help us with this. Now then, let's look where we need to get stuff from. So solid fuel's already here. This is- oh, jeez, what am I doing? Silly, silly KOS. Goodness me. Let's go ahead and remove this here. Uh, okay. <laughs> There's solid fuel right here! Hmm. Imagine that. Oh, silly me. All right. It's so funny because at the end of last episode, I saw that and I was like, oh, yeah, that's going to be really easy. And then here I go making it hard on myself. So I think iron can come here right by the solid fuel area. So let's just copy this chunk here and kind of go through this section there. Uh, maybe above. Yeah, let's do it above that line there. And we'll go along and place the, um, the undergroundies where they need to go. Let's see, should we go above? Hmm, yeah, probably. Yeah, that fits right really nicely there. And we'll just go a tiny bit above there. And that, that'll work pretty well, I think. Let's see, do we, can we do this? No, no, red, okay. We can do red, not a problem. All right, safe crossing, safe crossing. <laughs> it's like, no. Right. Oh, 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 careful. Okay, there we go. Gonna have to get the bots from the base to help us with those particular items there. But hey, we are getting it going on here. This is pretty exciting. So let's set up the schedule for this train and have it start running because it can go, go, go. All right, we're gonna start off. Um, hmm. Let's start off at the base and then add a wait condition of time passed of 30 seconds. And our first station is going to be uranium one, iron and fuel. And then we're going to do just inactivity, five seconds of inactivity. And this is what we're going to do with this station, with this train is any station that requires fuel. We're going to use this train. I think that's, that's my plan for this anyway, but we don't have any iron yet because we haven't fixed that, but it's going to be good. Do we have this on? Yes, we do. We, uh, Oh, they all lit up. Must have entered recently the, um, yeah, the orange area. That's so cool. I've never noticed that before. It's pretty neat. Okay, cool. So the bots are going to bring me stuff, including those modules. And I'm really excited to build a uh, set of power armor, Mark II. Now, if you're building this, if you're starting out in the game, like just brand new and you're not wanting to use nanobots, I highly recommend that you do use the Power Armor Mark I uh, and stuff. Uh, I just have a particular dislike of, of portable solar panels. They have gotten improved, but I'm like, no, don't make me use them, please. It's horrible. Uh, yeah, but uh, yeah, that's probably an unreasonable uh, thing. Uh, which comes from kind of like early game. You know, I've been playing this game for many, many years now. And there are certain things that I'm just like, nope, no more. Um, but yeah, even if they have, uh, they actually do have value now. So anyway, uh, right. So let's get this guy going there. There we go. Hooray. Nice. Put that one there as well. Okay. So it looks like we are using a ton of solid fuel and not generating very much to be going into um into fuel land here so that's not great what i think i might do here is i might remove these guys so it doesn't show up on our little blinky blinky thing because i'm sure that's going to drive people nuts uh, i don't particularly care myself but yeah people do care and it's nice to not have it blinking because it's not an emergency we need to add some robo ports one needs to go there and we need to, I hope we got these power poles in here that are like this. Wait, let's get a regular power pole. That should be fine. Okay. And then these guys are going to get sorted out. Hooray. Uh, I do not want to connect this with the wall thing at all. Uh, definitely not. So we're going to just keep this discreet from there. There we go. Nice. There we go. Uh, and somebody was wondering about stuff that's deconstructed. So we're going to get some trees deconstructed here. 
Uh, let's see, hopefully. Oh, maybe they've already gone into the trash car. I don't know. But um, that is a good thing that they're being taken back to the base. I know I had a question on YouTube and it kind of puzzled me because I'm like, yeah, we're meaning to do this. This is on purpose. So anyway. Oh, look at that. This one is just slightly too far. I didn't know that. Okay. I was wondering what happened here because this, the substation didn't get built because it's slightly out of range of this thing. Um, and I didn't realize we had put a roboport over here. But hopefully this will help uh, with this situation. We'll get uh, the roboport and we'll get the rest of this stuff constructed. Uh, and otherwise, here we go. Oh my god, this is exciting. Look at this, we're getting iron. So that is going to be our first nuclear cells made and built. We'll go and check on that in just a second. Because uh, we do need to get our plants kind of heated up there. But first of all, I would like to build ourselves a set of power armor now what is going on with these are these all these are all damaged lasers okay which can be repaired good good okay that's fine all right i don't want to waste time with that we'll just de deconstruct them all right um wow we have many offshore pumps that's crazy amounts of offshore pumps we don't need them what else do we not need probably too many lasers here I want to reduce that amount that we're requesting to 100 instead of 150. There we go. And that will be a lot better, I think, for us. Do we need all this other stuff? It's kind of tedious to carry all these belts around. Um, so we might, we might skip those. I don't know. Let's look at power armor. Stop being distracted by this stuff. Let's get the stuff and the things. We got this. Okay. We then need some let's see blue chips we can pick those up electric engines you know what let's just go shopping we'll go shopping and oh you know what else we should do we should paste down the mall because we have gotten a million new items well not a million but close to a million very close to a million uh like exoskeletons and personal roboports and stuff and things so we can now get those going there's our exoskeletons there um, I do want to fix steel today or get close to it anyway. That is one of my main objectives. Uh, also, I think I want to cancel efficiency module three for now. Uh, in favor of getting this, nuclear fuel reprocessing is only 50 science packs. So we'll get that first. We can get, let's see, does this lead to anything? No. Uh, discharge defense is completely useless. We can do energy shield mark two. It's only blue science. And then refined flammables. Sure, that's more damage on our flamethrower turrets. Stronger explosives. Does that also give us? That's landmine damage, grenade damage, and rockets. Hmm. Rockets are good for the spider tron. So we can get that. It doesn't require purple science, which is what we're really short on. Physical projectile damage. I don't think we need this. Gun turrets and bullets. No, we're fine. I think we're good. And then, hmm, laser turret shooting speed. Yes, that is yellow science, which we have mountains of. Energy weapons damage. Yes, let's do that. Uranium ammo. I don't think we actually need this. I think this is better if you have a death world or something where there are, you know, expansion is on and you want to supplement your uh, laser turrets. Uranium ammo is very effective. Uh, and of course, you have also the explosive uranium cannon shells, which do a ton of damage as well. And those can be loaded into the spider tron. Or no, those are not rockets, are they? No, those are cannon shells. Never mind. We have to have rockets for the spider tron. And worker robot speed. Yeah, let's go. Go with it. I love worker robot speed. It's so good. Now then, we are looking for... What are we shopping for? We're shopping for engines. What are we shopping for? Let's look. Um... We need electric engines, low density structures. Well, there's a bunch of low density stuff over here. So we only need 30 of this. So let's just pick up some. Hello. Okay. Is that? Oh, it's all going into the thing. Go off. Okay. One, two, three. That's fine. So we need 30 of those. We don't have enough to make two of these suits. Now, normally I would have two because I have a builder one and then I have a kill biters one. So let's go and get some blue chips. Oh, geez. There are very few blue chips on this line here. Oh, just pick up a couple here while we're, while we're going. Yes, yes, enough. Yes, aha. Okay, electric engines. We can find those over here. Very nice. Pick them all up. There we go. Oh, 
There we go. Power Armor Mark II. Hooray! And by the time we get to the mall, we should have enough stuff there to at least do something. Put a few d different modules in. Now I'm going to go ahead and turn this back on. And I want to take... Okay, the batteries went out. Good, good. I'm wondering if I need this many electric mining drills. I think we're going to cut down on some of the stuff because now we have our building train. We don't really need to carry a bunch of this stuff anymore uh, because it's all in the train. There's no need to even uh, think about it. Let's see. We do have more speed module twos. I think we'll drop those off at the uranium plants where we're doing the Coverex process. Uh, let's see. Anything else I can remove? Repair packs? Eh. Don't know. Sure. What about robo ports? I feel like we don't have enough of those. Are they on our happy list of thingy majingies? Yes, we do. Ah, we have two. All right, I think I'm going to just make it 10. Yeah, like this, that's fine. Get rid of the extra stacks there. And then concrete also just please go away. I think we'll do another row of get rid of stuff. Yeah, there we go. Concrete and bricks. Go away. There we go. Good. All right. Happy days are here again. Life is now better. Okay. So now we're make we have our power armor. We can down ditch this uh, the modular armor. Now when we put the power armor on, we should get more inventory space. Oh, I forgot about that. So if you get better armor, it actually gives you more inventory space. And I think it starts with. The, it says this. Yeah, we get modular armor. That gives us 10 spaces. This gives us 10 spaces. And this gives us even more 10 spaces. So this has a total inventory size bonus of 30. All right, let's go and start outfitting ourselves. This is great. Okay, we're going to have speed. We're going to have happy things happening. Hopefully we can get some robo ports. I don't know where we are with the research on that, but let's see what we've got in stock here in our store. Um, okay, so we have insufficient stuff here. We need more blue chips for robo ports. Darn it. And these are energy shields. I really don't like the icon for this. I really liked the other one, the one that had like the person. Uh, I felt it was much more evocative. But that's okay. We'll let it sit there. It's fine. Uh, and then, of course, we have the personal laser things. But again, we're lacking lasers. Ugh, this is really rough. We do have personal batteries mark two. Yay, we can put something in our, <laughs> in our thing. But, hey, hey, look what else we have. We have... We have fusion reactors. This is great. So usually I put at least two fusion reactors, if not three. It depends what I'm doing. If I have a lot of robots and uh, stuff, I, I do three. But it, it does depend. What's going on here? Hello? Hello? Oh, no. This is a gun turret without shooty shooties. Where is this? Oh, this is in Biterland. Okay. Oh, my God. There's like no defenses over here at all. Uh, I feel like we should have lasers here. Let's put a few down. Put a road over here. All right, there we have some stuff. Let's put just a couple of lasers around so things don't get quite killed. And then I'll put here a few. We can delete some of these power poles because they're definitely not needed. There we go. Delete, delete. And also turrets that have no no ammo anymore. That's a bit silly. So there we go. It's kind of funky to have all of these like completely useless areas now. Okay, there we go. Just delete this and these and some belts. Hooray. Do a tiny bit of maintenance here. All right, these can go. Still have these gun turrets holding down the fort here. Um, all right, so I want to also let's we need to we need to sort out steel. Do we have any robo ports at all? We could use a mini robo port. Do we have one of those? Hello? Let's see. We do have nine of them. You know what? Nine is okay. We can do this. It, it has a limit of 10 bots, but let's see what we can do here. Let's put in our two reactors. Let's put them. Sure. Yeah, there we go. Put in one of our batteries. 
Do we have another battery? Oh, we do. That's nice. Okay, so we have another battery. Oh, wow, I have nuclear stuff in here. Uranium. Gotta go home. All right, so let's get these bots going, and then we can stop using our nanobots. We'll put in four. I really like the, um, the upgraded ones, but that's okay. We don't have them at the moment. Okay, there we go. So that will hold 40 bots. We have 50 at the moment. So let's just put one in there. And we want to see if we have any exoskeleton legs here. Oh, we might. No, do we? Huh. We don't have them yet. Or there is another possibility that they've gone here. Because this thing grabs legs. Ah, oh, we have two sneaking in here. This is for the Spider-Tron, by the way. I set that up for that specifically. But we can put two exoskeleton legs in here. Now, if you want to figure out how much stuff stuff uses or just a general thing, this we have a max output here of 750 kilowatts for each of these. So that's 1500. These use 400 between them. And these are, let's see, these are two, but they eat a lot of energy when they are recharging the bots. So I usually like to have two of these. If you have lasers, personal lasers, those eat a mountain of energy. So anyway, um, I think we're good on this. I think we're, we're, oh, and we walk faster. Woo. This is great. Okay. So we have our bots. We can actually remove nanobots entirely. Let's just get rid of those and we'll take, um, take them off our requesting schedule thingy thingy. Let's go. On. Where are they? The numbers make it so hard to see what, what is what? There they are. Okay. Turn it to zero, please. There we go. And nano guns. I will also remove them. Bye bye nanobots. We have loved you for the whole series. They're awesome. By the way, check out, uh, they are basically uh, nanobots are made by Nexilla. He makes a ton of great mods and I can't thank him for enough for making these really awesome things that they certainly help me with, with my issues and also make the game fun. Uh, he's got some other cool stuff like, you know, the ability is one is called, um, and I think it's part of another one. This, the ability to like move a circuit combinators around, like if you mess up your train stations or something, what, where's the proper train station? Here we go. You can, you can move the chests around. Um, I think it's called the dolly. Is that what it is? Maybe. Uh, and anyway, you can m move stuff around much more easily than, you know, copy pasting. So that one's a cool one. And, uh, he's got a ton of other stuff. Just check it out on the mod portal. Uh, cause he's pretty awesome. Okay. Um, now here. What I want to do here is most of these are moving, but one is not, and that's okay. What we're going to do is split this one off. We're going to have a priority to the right. Sure. But the left, we're going to make that go into steel right now. Uh, let's just do that. Oh, there our bots are going. Hooray. Okay. Okay, there we go. Let me just copy this thing. And now we won't have to pay for our bots because they'll just be doing stuff for us automatically. That's nice. Okay, we'll go under these cliffs. Oh, 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 long cliffs, long cliffs. Go back here. Oh, oh, hard to get through. Trees, the trees are whacking me in the face. It's rough times, rough times. Okay, there, and then it's so funny because people, I've had one person say, nanobots are cheaty. And I'm like, well, not really. Um, they are, uh, you have to pay for them. I actually feel like I'm cheating right now because I have free bots. I have free bots that are just, I don't have to pay for them. <laughs> so I find this highly, highly amusing. Um, anyway, so, oh God, these trees. I really, I really wish I had squeak through. <laughs> cry the cry is real over here okay but anyway it's so funny but um yeah because you know we've had bots in our factory we clearly can afford them it's fine but it's just funny the way uh different people perceive things different ways so okay uh right so what do we want to do here i think all right i think what i want to do is we need to supplement all the things and all the stuff. So let's get 
This one this way. This one this way. And we're going to just have this one go up there. What I want to do is do something like this and like this again. So we're going to prioritize to the right. Paste, paste, paste. All right. And then get rid of this one. And this one is going to go here. Excuse me, rock. Go away. Okay. And then take this off. Are we having extra? We might be. Wow, we actually have extra here. That's crazy. Huh. Nice. All right. Well, we'll take it. These cheaty bots. Woo. <laughs> I'm just highly amused by that because, you know, bots, of course, can carry multiple items and stuff and they can, they can do all the things and all the stuff and it's very nice. Ooh, we're even getting some to the third array. Okay, so this is really a good, good, good thing. Let us go ahead and we need to upgrade some stuffs here. So let's upgrade. I think we need to upgrade the inserters on these guys as well. So we'll just do these guys. Yeah, we'll just do the whole array. I'm not that concerned with having extra fast inserters in a place uh, or not. And then these, uh, these furnaces need to be upgraded as well. Wow. Okay. Why are those wanting to upgrade? No, what did I just do? Oh no. Oh, I did deconstruction. Oh my God. Bad KOS. What did <laughs> I was like, huh? Why? <laughs> Thank goodness. We didn't, uh, <clears throat> upgrade the whole thing. Hmm. Yes. All right. Well, it's fine. It's fine. Just don't, don't panic. We didn't screw it up yet. Not not the whole thing anyway. Okay. Get these guys. That was so weird. <laughs> yep. All right. It's okay though. But control Z, as in most other programs, is perfect for this. Perfect, perfect for this. Do I need my bots to take care of this or this is base bots? Are we okay? Hello? I think we're kind of out of range in part of this. Yeah. Let's get this fixed. Put another... Um, Robo port out here. Okay, nice, very nice. Okay, so this is making steel a tiny bit better. Uh, it could stand to be better than that as well. But it's okay. Let's just go ahead and get rid of this as well. That whole thing can just go away. Bye bye, ammo belt. We don't need you anymore. We might want to upgrade this. This is actually looking kind of thick. We have. Red belts coming in and red belts kind of thinking about going out. So I'm thinking just like upgrade this line for now. There we go. Nice. And then at least up until some part is used. Sure. Yeah, that's fine. That's just fine. Wow. Red chips. What's going on with the red chips? I think it's oil. I think we re yeah, it's plastic. Jeez, we really I'm actually thinking about doing nasty, horrible things like um what is that stuff called? <laughs> the oil um oh my god, I forgot the name of it. Coal liquefaction. I have never done coal liquefaction because oil is usually so prevalent. Uh I think I might need to go exploring though to the east and figure that out and see if we can get some stuff going on there because yeah. Because things, because stuffs. Okay, what's going on over here? We have All right, now this now we have this situation going on here. Okay, so Oh, 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 what's going on here? Oh no. Oh dear. No, no, no. Bad, bad, bad. Okay, that goes there. That goes there. And we need to get this coal going through here. Hello. There we go. Nice. Yeah, I don't want this thing to stop. But yeah, these with the red belts, they are really trucking it out. Really, really getting this going. But we need more iron. This is a real emergency. Uh, there isn't any on the map, is there? No. I could use some more radars out here, though. But, jeez. This is rough times. We actually do need to go exploring like crazy. I was hoping that we could get our spider tron but that just isn't existing 
One thing that I should do is put out RoboPorts out here. I kind of hate to do this, but, you know, it's kind of connected to the main base. It's fine. There we go. Go there, and then I just want to have these guys in construction range so that we can uh, repair the turrets and stuff. Because why not? You know, I mean, they are defending us. They're doing a great job. Gotta give them some love here. And this here, whoa, we have we have things happening here, though. We have one thing destroyed, one thing almost destroyed. I feel like we should probably put some, some turrets out here. Let's just do that. These guys can go and recycle all of that stuff. Let's see, do we have a... Let's go and pick up a defense thing. Copy... Here. Oh, did we ever see some stuff going on here? Oh, we are getting something going on. Okay, looks like we are making some kind of fuel. I haven't checked. I got so excited about this other stuff. It's like, huh. All right, let's have two defense thingies here. That should be plenty enough. Oh, hey, biters. Nice. Okay, that worked well. Cool. Let's have this one here. Good. Ah, oh, that's nice. Okay, so that, that should be fine to defend here. We don't really need a wall at all there. Let's see. I want to check from map mode. I'm going to stand next to a laser in case some biters come around. But um, let's see. Do we have our nuclear reactors heating up? Oh, no. They're still lacking fuel. So we might need to check if there's something else going on here. Um, oh, we do have fuel. Look at this. We have 100 fuel. Why is this not, like, doing things? Go to nuclear one fuel. Yeah. Wow. Because, like, things are going slowly. The electricity is down. Help. Oh, my God. Train? It's on manual mode. That's why. Go to nuclear one, please. <laughs> okay. 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 So I might slightly have forgotten to set that up. Oh dear. Now this also, we could make a shortcut going this way if we wanted to. That would uh, probably reduce reduce some of the traffic there. All right, but this is exciting. Let's watch this happen. This is great. Oh, here we go. Here we go. And we can also set up the recycling because I think we, we got that since uh, we're now on a different research topic. Here it goes. Here it goes. Hooray. Yes. Yeah. Being Oh, the green glow of progress. Hooray. And we have much fuel on this line. We have, we got a hundred in the train. So this should, oh no, look at this. <laughs> Wasted fuel on the ground. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. It'll be fine. We just need to, um, yeah, put some reactors there and stuff. It'll be okay. But yeah, these guys, uh, so anyway, whenever you start your nuclear plant, they need to heat up to about I think it's is it a minimum of 500 degrees but I think we want to get it to a thousand degrees but you can see the temperature it's it heats up quite slowly and then they do a constant burn of the fuel in contrast to say uh, regular steam engines and um, when once they heat it up enough the heat travels along the heat pipes you can see the heat going there and um, then and the way that heat travels is it's, I think it's one fifth of the difference between the two pipes. I think that's what it said on the wiki. Um, but anyway, you want all of these to heat up these heat exchangers. And that heat gets transferred into the water, uh, which we have coming from the ocean over there, and gets into steam. And the steam drives the steam turbines. And those are the things that kind of go on and off. Uh, but the, the nuclear plants themselves do not stop. Now, as I said previously, please do not worry about this in your build because one Covarex plant with no modules, nothing, will supply 33 of these. And these guys are going to generate a ton of energy. We'll see this. Let's see. Let's look right now and see um, a power pole. We are generating 108 megawatts. Now, once those turbines get up to, uh, or once the reactors get up to speed there, we're going to be seeing a huge, huge, huge increase. All right, I think I want to go down to the nuclear plant. 
So let's get some, get our train. Okay, there we go. And fuel. I should put the fuel on my hotbar, I think. Uh, oops, let's just have you not drive manually. That would be more preferable, I think. <laughs> okay, we're going to add a weight condition of, I don't know. Fluid. No, we'll just cancel it. All right, that's the easiest thing is just, oh, of course, you have to put it to manual mode. Can't be mined when anyone is in it. So let's go. Okay, so we do have the iron coming in here. This is perfect. We only want it on one side of the belt. We don't actually care about that. So let's see. We've got these two running. This one is not running yet. It only has 32. But we can steal some of this and chuck it in, which is going to be absolutely fabulous now. So we now have three of these plants running. We can take the extras from there and there. And we have 56. Uh, that's more than enough for another thing to go. Let's go ahead and put some of this in here. Now, there's one thing that I did not do yet. Um, and that is whenever these boxes fill up, I want the mining to stop. Uh, so what we're going to do is have a tiny circuit condition here. Uh, let's see. Wow, there's so many power poles here. It's These kind of make it a bit crazy. So let's see. Let's connect this line to here. And this is a very easy way of stopping a belt. Um, okay, sure, we'll do this and there. And then we're gonna connect this to all of these chests. Okay, so what we wanna say is how much do we want? Okay, so these guys, these chests, uh, this one holds 4.8K. All right, let's get out our calculator here and make this happen. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight times 4.8 is going to be 38.4k. So I think if we have more than 30k in here, then we should stop the mining because right now we have 19k. All right, let's go ahead and say that. If we have stuff uh, this stuff, more than 30k, there we go, then, um, or it should be less, less than, because if we have more than, it'll, it'll stop it, there we go, so there we go, so this is going to work, and basically what happens is when we get the reprocessing, which I'm going to set up right now, um, let's see, let's get that going, where is it? Hello? No? Hello? Did we not get it? Maybe it's in the... Is it in a centrifuge? It might be in a centrifuge. Let's see. Oh, we have many 235. There we go. Let's try this. Is it here? Yeah, it's there. Okay, that's fine. Let's take this off. And then this one is the nuclear fuel reprocessing. And it just takes the used up fuel cells and converts them to uh, 238. Um, so how do we want to return this there? So this is just fuel cells going in. This one is the stuff coming out. How, do we, how can we do this? I think what we can do is just something very simple like this. Uh, because this is the line coming out that gives us the 238. Yeah, I think this is going to work just fine. Yeah, we'll just do this. Okay. Um, and then we get the fuel cells from here. Oh, hey, okay, we can test it out. Okay, let's get this belt coming up this way. Perfect. All right. And go inside. Hooray. Move that there. Ah, oh, that's even better. Okay, this is very cool. So I think what I want to do is let's move some beacons up here. And let them something some beacons that cover all of the stuffs like this one is perfect to have a couple of speed modules in it of course we do have to power them in some way so let's just get a power pole there now note that the beacons transmit half of their value to the nearby structures so this is going to be let's see plus 30 percent here um wait is that right Hold on. 
Yeah, because we have two modules. Each module is plus 30% and then it transmits half. So these get half of that. But if you have enough machines, it makes it a lot better. Um, but we can add modules here as well. Uh, you can put either productivity or you can put the speed. It probably is actually worth putting speed rather than productivity in these guys. But uh, in any case, either one of them is good. Uh, and it will generate so much uranium, you will have no... Um, yeah, you'll be like, what the heck do I do with all this stuff? We'll go ahead and add a couple more machines here. Let's get rid of this for now. And then add another... Let's see, how much uranium do we have? 70. But we'll have more in just a minute. There we go. Let's add two more. Let's see how many is that? One, two, three, four, five. Let's just do six, and that should be a plenty. And they can just keep on uh, working. So let's see. Here we go. 70, and then take it out. And let's see if we can get more. Okay, that's not done. This one is two. Want to get 40, please? Give, give. No? Okay. It's fine. So right now, we're relying on these machines to give us uranium for the fuel cells. And I hope it will be enough. But soon enough, these guys are going to produce enough to also get those other ones uh, off the ground. And, uh, okay, let's go ahead and add more defenses here. There we go. There we are. Oh, that's perfect. And then we can do, let's see, do a couple more speedy thingy majingies. You move over here, please. Thank you. Let's see. I think I can afford, what, two more? Very nice. Very nice. Okay. I guess here is an okay place for a power pole. And these guys are now running at plus 120%. Oh, oh, we can grab these guys. Yay. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, no, I messed that up. Okay, there we go. Let's take this and give you that. Sure. Is that enough to get this last one going? Maybe? Hello? Oh, 39! Do we have one more? Yes, we do! Hooray! Okay, so that that's one, two, three, four, five, six going now. Okay, so I think we're good. I think this is gonna work really, really well for this thing. And let's go ahead and check our plant here. Is it is it functioning? Oh, it's functioning! Look at this! Woo! Oh my gosh. Hey, we have nuclear power. We are buzzing here. This is great. So what are we at right now with power? Ha! 984 megawatts. I think we're okay now. Hooray! We have no more power problems. Life is clearly better. So this represents potential. Um, and if you don't reach that potential, um, then you might want to look at your setup. Maybe you're not getting enough water or something. But this is, of course, graduated to our size of our factory. Um, and what we can do is we can actually turn off a couple of those reactors. Let's go ahead and go and get this, hop into this train here. Can you go, please? Let's go to nuclear for now. And does it have any fuel? It does have some. It has 10. That's good. 10 is good. 10 is something. There we go. But yeah, everything is right now just ticking along quite nicely. Oh, this is so exciting. Oh my god. Yeah. Alright, so I'm going to put this on manual mode. Because we just take it back to the uh, take it back to the world. But I think what we can do here is these guys, you, it's always advantageous to put them in a clump like this. And check out my uh, nuclear tutorial video as well. Um, but what they do is they have this neighbor bonus. And I think I talked about that before. These guys in the middle have plus 300% neighbor bonus, which is crazy good. But at the moment, we don't... Oh, look at this. We're using like, what, a tenth of the power? So I'm going to take these off. And the, the only way to kind of, yeah, uh, do that is take them off to prevent them from using too much fuel. So what do we have now? We have... Let's see. We have less... Um, well, I think it's, it might actually be looking at all of the steam engines attached to this. So it won't, where is it? There we go. Power again. Um, yeah, we have, we're going to have to watch this because we, we're not using those reactors, but yeah, we're, we're, we have tons and tons of power. 
power for days. It's going to be great. Do I have anything to give to you? Yes, I do. Let's give this to the box and the box can distribute it. But yeah, I'm really happy that all of this is going out. Look at the glow. Oh, the glow at night is so good. Wow. It's kind of like it's you miss the point when it's uh, when I have this the um that's the the YouTube lighting halo effect. Um but yeah, in the dark they look so cool. And the heat pipes glow according to their temperature. So if they are a low heat, they'll be a bit darker. But when they're really high heat, they, they're really glowy. Anyway, uh, thank you so very much for joining me. If you've enjoyed this video, please do leave a like and subscribe to be informed of new videos. It is very, very much appreciated and helps me out a great deal. Remember to check out my KOS and Factorio merch and make your way to our Discord server to chat about the game, share ideas, and play on our community server. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.